So somebody is realizing if they would have never panicked, they wouldn't have never exposed their self. And this could be more than one person that is feeling this way. This could be multiple people. But this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So you have the four swords popping out in the reverse. And then you have strength. So somebody have recovered from something. This person have gained a lot of inner strength. They could have been exhausted. And they were just tired. It's like somebody needed to get some rest. And maybe they were in the, for a long time not getting a lot of rest or not attending to their self, taking care of their self. But now they're coming up out of this energy. Um... And they're very strong. You have the hair font. And then the nine of wands. This is someone who could have changed um, a belief system. Yeah, like that person could have went through some type of, um, they could have got enlightened about something and now they're changing their perspective about a belief system. Something that they could have been taught. But now that they're no longer like, this could have been confusion. Now that they're no longer confused. So this could be someone that is, um, leaving behind some type of belief system and now they're headed off on a spiritual journey or they've started a, a spiritual journey. This person has divine wisdom. So something could have been a tradition for that person. But them waking up spiritually, getting on their spiritual path have given that person a lot of um, self-belief. Like they believe in their self. God has given that person a lot of strength to continue and not give up. That person could have been in a mindset where they, you know, wanted to give up. Because they were just tired of something. So it could have been, you know, a number of things that went on repetitively. They felt like they were dealing with the same things over and over again. But now all of that has changed. This is definitely someone who's went through some type of transformation or transition. Yeah, the death card. Somebody has went through a transformation. They've ended out a cycle and they're restarting a new cycle. This change was necessary for this person. You have the page of swords. And then the world. This page of swords kind of popped out in the reverse. But this person is someone that um, they could have been very careless in the past and now they're no longer in that energy. They could have been very guarded, you know, defensive, wanting to take action towards certain things, but they just didn't. This could have been ideas. This could have been self-doubt. They could have been around a lot of people that um, created a lot of doubt. You know, with a lot of negative gossip or, you know, negative opinions of what this person wanted to do or take action towards. Yeah, somebody have completed a cycle and they've, um, this is a big accomplishment for this person. 
They feel like everything is going to work out how they want it to work out or everything has already worked out and came together for this person because they went through this transformation. You have the Knight of Swords. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. That person is very um, determined. They're very determined. If they realize that they have a spiritual path, they're very determined to walk into their destiny, their purpose with the Wheel of Fortune being here. They're excited, ecstatic about this. Because a cycle has restarted for this person. Yeah, they've gained a lot of mental clarity. They're doing things in a um, practical, logical way. And they feel like they've, you know, broke free from something. This is like a breakthrough for that person. But in reality, they've broken free from a toxic karmic cycle that they could have repeated over and over and over and over again. And they grew tired of dealing with the same things, doing the same things, and not getting anything out of it. Yeah, the fool. This is someone that is spreading their wings. They're headed towards a new journey. Yeah, they've walked away from a lot of bad investments. They've took action towards the changes that they need to make. They've separated themselves from things that don't serve purpose in their life. And they're no longer allowing distractions. This is someone who does not want to be unsatisfied. They felt like the, they feel like the only way they would be able to satisfy themselves is if they made this change. Have the King of Swords. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's very guarded. They're very disciplined and um, very determined to manifest, prosper um, in all stages of life. Uh, yeah, this is someone that they're they're cutting out a lot of things because they want to have a legacy or leave a legacy behind with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to leave a legacy behind. This could be for, you know, their family or um, their kids or something like that. Whoever comes after this person, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to be able to share their success with um, with whoever comes after them. Like they want to pass down their legacy. This is someone who wants to be a positive influence to other people, but the people that come after them. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Ten of Wands. Then you have the Five of Wands. So whoever this person is, as um, I was stating in the beginning, they panicked. And this is how they exposed their self. This person panicked because they were afraid of the truth getting out and they didn't know how to stop it. So it's like they created a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict. And now everything that's coming back towards that person is things that they just cannot deal with. Now, this could have been something that they did to you to create negativity and conflict around you. And it has overwhelmed them. They're weighed down with a lot of guilt, stress. They're frustrated. 
They feel like a lot of pressure is on them. It's like they've trapped themselves in a situation that they cannot get out of. This is someone who just did not want to um, take accountability for the things that they did or what was being revealed about them. Yeah, this is someone that's going through a lot of inner conflict and they got upset and tried to create a lot of outer conflict for other people and could be for you or whoever this person is that um, have went through this transformation. This was a rival. This is someone who likes to argue. They like to fight. They like to keep up a lot of drama and negativity. And it's like whatever they were dishing out, they cannot take it. Yeah, and now they're realizing if they wouldn't have never did what they did, they wouldn't be in the predicament that they're in now. But they panicked because something was being revealed about them. Now, this is someone who have separated their self from um, this person that tried to create a lot of chaos and conflict because the nine of pentacles is here. They don't like the fact that that person is, you know, feeling comfortable, feeling happy um, by their self. Yeah, they're seeing things for what it is. This is someone who definitely knew about the twin flame journey before they did. So this could be your twin. And whatever they have done in this five of wands energy, it helped that person to, you know, see something more clear. And now they're wishing that they wouldn't have did this because it, it, uh, it created a lot of negative attention, attraction to this person, not the attraction that they wanted. Now, maybe they felt like if they can throw or project negativity towards you, that person would view them how they view you and you would be viewed how that, that your twin is viewing this person now. But it didn't work. Yeah, this is someone who felt like they would be able to block your blessings but they tried to block your blessings and then Taurus is here. So you could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Yeah, new love. They were trying to block. They feel as if this person was trying to block them off from manifesting new love in their life after they detached from them and ended out a cycle. Yeah, that person have made a lot of changes with you've changed being here and boundaries. They've set healthy boundaries with this person. And they're in regret. This is someone who have shown um, how immature they are. This could be someone that's caught up in some type of federal case. You have trickery. They're experiencing bad karma and then under investigation. You have love interests. So yeah, they tried to cause some type of trickery, or trickery around you. If you are your twin flame's love interest and it resulted in them being in a federal case. Yeah, you're protected. You are protected from all of this. And maybe this person did not know that you would be protected from this. And this would backfire onto them. But now they're wishing that they wouldn't have, wouldn't have did this. You have growth. Envy. And chaos and conflict, yeah. Whoever is investigating this person, they feel like this person is someone that's very envious and jealous of your growth. And they try to create a lot of chaos, conflict, and drama in your life. 
Yeah, you've definitely healed from something. Whoever the person is that is your twin, they've healed. Yeah, balance. This is someone who did not want to see anything be balanced out with balance popping out in the reverse. There was definitely a warning. So you could have warned someone about this person or somebody else could have warned your twin about this person. But once they were warned, this was a warning for them as well. They just did not take heed. They felt like they had the power to play God in your life and in another person's life. Yeah, now they're going through bad karma after they were warned to stop doing whatever they were doing. Yeah, cancer wanted to pop out. So there could have been a cancer involved. This could be someone that was trying to help whoever this person is um, try to block your love life. You have celibate, stressing, and karmic feminine. So if your divine counterpart, your twin, they decided to stay celibate during this transformation, this karmic feminine is stressed out. Yeah, this is someone who does not want to work. So maybe they feel like... Um, this could be someone that only had, they didn't have much to offer to whoever your divine counterpart is. Now that this person is seeing this and they've just, you know, feel like something is played out, worn out. This person is someone who does not want to work. They decided to make changes for themselves and go through this transformation. But this person is desperate because they're accustomed to not doing much on their own. They're very codependent. So. They're accustomed to people doing things for them, not having to work because they don't want to work. So maybe they, you know, set back and expect it for your twin to put up with this energy as long as they wanted them to. But somebody stood up in their power. And they walked away from this person. You have good karma. Okay, so I don't know why I'm getting this. Whoever your twin is, you could have warned that person and they could have confided in someone close to them, like a family member or a friend about something that you said to them and they went and warned whoever this karmic feminine is. They got behind the scenes and they were trying to help that person create blockages. They could be going through bad karma as well. They could be feeling guilty about educating this person or warning this person and telling this person about something you said because now they're seeing something for what it is. You have influencer. So you could be someone that's an influencer. You have black magic. And then researching, reconnecting. So yeah, somebody was warned about um, this person using magic over them and they started doing their own research. They told like somebody that they were close to that they trusted, went back and told this karmic feminine everything that they were researching, they were looking up. Um, this person found out that they're supposed to be reconnecting with you, whoever your twin is, but this karmic partner, they already knew. So it's like they panicked. And this is how they were able to expose who they truly are. Wow. Yeah, they did not want this person to go into the four swords and recover from whatever this is that they used over this person in the past. Because that means that person would gain their strength back, stand in their own power. You have main male. So this could have been a family member of theirs or a friend that they're finding out is a false person with false person being here. 
you have family room. So this definitely was a family member. Or this could be someone that was close like family. Take it where it resonates. But they educated this false person and told this person that um, you warned them. This person had been doing a lot of research and different things like that. And they found out that there's a reunion between you and them. And it's like whoever this family member is or whoever this person is that was working with this false person, they came out to be a false person as well. Now, they could have been blinded to what this person already knew. Like, they didn't know this person was already ed already educated about the twin flame journey. This person hadn't already did their research, but they were using what knowledge they gained from what they found out about the twin flame journey to use against your twin and you. Yeah, journey. It's like they knew about the journey way before. Could have knew before you knew. Yeah. So they're realizing they have to distance themselves from whoever this family member is. This could be multiple family members. Um, in order to be able to have a fresh start. Start this new journey. Get on their spiritual path. They have imprisonment and then message. Somebody definitely felt like as long as they can keep this person away from you, they would keep that person trapped. They would keep that person stuck. These are people that underestimated God. These could be people that don't believe in God. Now, they could be, you know, they could hide behind a tradition or something like that, a religion. But these are people that don't believe in God. They would have never did this to try to one up whoever your twin is one up you help this person to create blockages try to block another person's blessings you have unexpected income somebody was paid to um this message card it talks about like you know communicating with a person giving someone um a message so this could have been somebody paid another person to could have been communicate to the authorities something that was false. Like this could be false accusations, false allegations against either you or your twin to have them feeling trapped, to have them stuck. And if this was lies that were told on you, this was to keep make sure your twin stayed away from you. Yeah, it's like somebody had to pay. This could have been one person that was paid. Could be multiple people that were paid to try to, you know, make a person. Yeah, official person on the bottom of the deck. They didn't want your twin to view you as their twin. Somebody felt like they had the power to um, change another person's mind about something that they already knew. We have pathway. We have sudden wealth. Yeah, during this waiting period, if you were wrapped up in some type of situation or you were supposed to feel stuck, it could have appeared to whoever these people are or this person that paid different people that you were stuck. But with pathway being here, it appeared as if you were stuck, but you were still able to move forward. You're still on the right path. You could be in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Like it's something that you're doing. This could be an inheritance that you receive or some type of sudden wealth is getting ready to come to you or you could be just building this for your future. You have child. And then you have gift. Yeah, so somebody could have knew that once this person came towards you, you and that person would have a child. Now, this may not resonate with everyone, but this is the energy that's just coming out. Somebody knew that you and that person were destined to have a child. They knew that this child would be gifted. 
and they felt like they would keep that person away from you because um, they wanted that person to stay stuck, like forcefully stuck, stuck in the past. Stuck dealing with the same thing over and over again. Yeah, this did, but it did not work. Yeah, somebody is living their worst fear. Their main fear was you and this person coming in union, reconciling, reuniting, reconnecting. And this person being so guarded and being choosing to stay single. Now, this could be someone that's saving their self for commitment, like they're practicing celibacy. They're no longer confused about what they want out of life. They're no longer in the energy where they feel like they have to settle for the same thing. Yeah, surrender. This is someone who took out the time and the patience to um, release different things that they need to release so they're able to just move forward with roll the dice being here. They've set a lot of boundaries that needed to be set with um, karmic energies, with player being here. These are people that they don't communicate with anymore, with ghosted being here. They're ignoring these type of energies. You have toxic relationship and then breakup. Yeah, somebody failed to realize that something was over. And the reason why they felt to realize this is because it was unexpected. So that person just ghosted them, stopped communicating with them. They could have been trying to contact different people that that person is attached to. And whoever they confided in, they educated whoever this toxic partner is about them researching and whatever you've warned them about. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who always expected for that person to go back and forth with them. They would, you know, stay in this never-ending cycle. It would never be over, but somebody walked away from somebody because they were just too toxic. This could be someone who educated and researched their, um, researched on toxic relationships and different things like that. Things that just were not healthy for them in a relationship and they started making healthier choices and love relationships and um, for their life. Yeah, once they walked away from this person, they didn't expect it, but they did not know it was over. They were expecting for that person to come back towards them. You have hook up. Yeah, they were expecting for that person to hook up with them, casually date them or keep going back and forth with them. And this could have been a very immature person that was like a hookup type of energy. Somebody that was not serious about being in a relationship and they, you know, had that person in the energy where they were overwhelmed. They didn't want to take that person serious anymore and they went through this transformation. Yeah, somebody have moved on with new love being here from an ex with ex-lover. They're focused on a new beginning. Yeah, this rest that they got, this little break or waiting period that they took for their self, not only helped them um, go through a, a transition, but now they're realizing their worth. This is someone that's paying attention to a lot of things that they did not pay attention to before. And it has that person in the energy of um, not fearing who they are as a person. They realize they're more powerful than they um, they realize. <laughs> you have consult an expert. And then you have alchemy.
contemplation time. So this person could have went to a counselor or something, somebody that, um, like a psychiatrist or a strength or something like that. And this has motivated that person. They're confident to do um, something. Yeah, this, this alchemy card, it talks about having the Midas touch in every project you begin turns to gold. So this could be a business idea or something that they want to accomplish. And they've been spending a lot of time focusing on that. Yeah, this is someone who has a more positive outlook now. If they were like juggling in the past, unsure, uncertain about their life, they're no longer in this energy. This is someone who feels like um, being faithful to God is, them being faithful to God is God being faithful to them. Or something like that. Freedom through faith popped out in God's hands on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person is releasing everything to God or they've released something to God. And they freed their self through the faith of God. Yeah, this is someone who is entrusted in God and they don't have a doubt. They have faith that God's perfect time and placement is what helped them free their self from this situation. Yeah. So yeah, somebody is definitely realizing that whatever they did blew up in their face at the time that they did it. They just did not think it would blow up in their face. They panic, and this is how they expose their self, by trying to create, or after trying to create a lot of chaos, negativity, conflict in your life. 